Good morning. My name is Adam Kahn, and this is my half house channel. Start with the usual disclaimer. I'm not a financial planner, not a lawyer, and I'm not an accountant. Please use any of the information on this channel as entertainment purposes only. Reach out to your financial planner, your accountant, or your lawyer for any financial decisions you make. Oh my God! I am so tired of the gloom and doom idiots out there calling for everything to go to zero. You know what? I think we're gonna start making new highs soon. They're so negative. They're so stupid. And the reasons they think that the world is going to the end make no sense. Like, let's take for example, housing. Yes, interest rates are going higher. Interest rates are going higher if the economy's strong. The Fed is trying to offset how fast the housing is going up because there is too much demand for the supply. Well, anybody who understands economics should understand supply and demand is all that matters. So if there's too much demand, the Fed can try to offset that, but prices are going up and they're going up in monthly payment or they're gonna go up in price. Like, it makes no sense what you guys think. And look out the other way, because if the Fed's cutting rates to be the savior, that's because the economy isn't doing well. Like, listen to the underlying of what's going on. Go out, look around, places are busy. Don't put up big scary pictures of houses on fire talking about new home builders in trouble when they friggin' nailed it this time. They didn't overbuild. They're building when people buy. They got us by the, the, by the balls. The new builders were so smart this time. That's why you're seeing their stock prices go up. So don't kid yourself that they're in big trouble. The incentives that they're offering is simply to move inventory that they've already built and try to meet quarterly reports. They're not struggling. And prices have gone up so much their margins are better. The, these guys have got it down and 2008 taught them how to do it. They're not gonna do that again. Their time horizons are so much longer than individuals. They learn from mistakes. Guys, this is the opportunity to buy. In 20 years, do you think housing is gonna be more affordable to the individual or less? Just think about that. 20 years from now, do you think it'll be easier to afford a home or harder? And if you think it's easier, by all means wait. I don't agree. I think in 20 years, it'll be harder. You'll see more multi-generational houses where mom and dad live with their kids and things will just get more expensive like other countries. Those guys out there touting it's gloom and doom and it's gonna collapse and whatever else, they're just keeping you from owning your dream home is what they're doing. It's not self-serving that the rest of us are saying buy a house. I don't care, but I think you will and your kids and your grandkids and your future generation. I'm not selling mine and I'm holding on and I'm passing it down from generation to generation because I think they're gonna have a tougher time affording it. If you don't, I don't know what to tell you guys. Anyway, thumbs up, like, subscribe, make some comments. Happy to argue if you think the other way. Um, I got all sorts of economic data to show how it's turning. By April or May, when last year's numbers fall off the CPI and PPI and an analytics, and you start to see the inflation continue to come down, I, I think we'll see things normalize. So, again, my name is Adam Khan. Thumbs up. Yell at me. Tell me where I'm wrong. Whatever you want to do. I love it. Have a good day.